Hey everyone, it's Lainey. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today's card is a quick and simple card and the focal point really is the color. So I'm going to be using Concord and Night today and we've got Nectar, Grapefruit, Sherbert, Sea Glass, Tide Pool, and Oceanside. And I will be sure to list those down below for you as well if you enjoy this color combination as much as I do. I also recently purchased from Joanne Fabrics this Gemini die set with, with it saying, Hello, friend. And I really like the pairing between the Sand Share font of the Hello and the script font, script font of the friend. So I've already taken the liberty of cutting these down to size. And I've cut them down into about a half inch strip. And... This is going to be the pattern that we're going to be using. How pretty is that? So bringing in my card panel, which is an A2 size, which is measured by five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm going to start off by layering the strips and gluing them down. And then we're going to trim down our panel. So let's see here. The main thing to pay attention to with the strips is really just making sure that they're straight. We are going to be trimming this down, but if these are crooked, you're going to be able to notice. So let me, I've got to move fast and I've got to prop it up so I can have a better visual. And it seems that it is straight. So everything should be copacetic moving down the line with the colors because our first strip is straight. Fingers crossed. So I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue and make sure the strips are as close to each other as they can be without overlapping. And then move on to the next color. All right, so all the strips are glued down. And before we move on to the next step, I'm gonna put the needle or pin in my glue. This is a new bottle and it's so enjoyable squeezing out the glue with a new bottle. So much easier. My other one still has just, I don't know, I guess about a quarter left in it and it's just a pain in the rear. So what I'm gonna do, let's think here. So it's measuring at five and a half. I want to cut this down to five. So what I wanna do is cut a quarter off of each side of the panel. And you definitely can keep these strips for another project. So don't throw these strips away. These are a decent size. These other ones here, they're a little bit too small, but. see and I will be coming coming out with a video shortly of me kind of or cleaning and organizing and I'm going to share with you how I store my paper and how I store my scraps I have yet to see someone store them as I am so I think it'll be helpful all right so I've turned my panel and now I'm cutting it down two, four. Alrighty. So we do have a little bit of margin there. And what I want to do now actually is just cut off the white space. So I just have a full panel of color. But I do like that. I do like the extra white space as well, but our card base is going to be white. So we can have a lot more white come through with our panel. I mean our card base, excuse me. And there we have our cute little panel. Very colorful and definitely quite sturdy with the 110 pound card stock as the base. All right, I brought in my card base here and now you can see the margins and I'm going to bring out the hello and I think that that is going to work 
nicely. So what I want to do, I'm going to move this aside, move my scraps aside as well. And what I want to do is go ahead and cut the hello out on white cardstock. And I want to cut it out a couple times because I want to layer it since these are so fine and kind of dainty and delicate. Okay, so I have a couple of panels here and I'm wondering if I can keep these together and cut it through like so. All right, so bringing in some washi tape to tape down the die. And we'll see how this works. So it's a tight fit going through. And I'm gonna run it through one more time. So I'm gonna back it up just to ensure that that die is really getting pressed through both of those layers. Okay, and it seemed to have worked. Let's see. Okay, so it didn't cut through. It really just actually pressed the first one in quite a bit. Okay, so it did cut through both just really, it was just really pressed together. Oh, don't want to bend anything or break anything. And this works great as well. See like that and then the center. How cute is that? So I'll show you a card that I made not too long ago when I first bought the Hello die and you can see how I just used the outline and then the friend and the dewdrops. So I really liked how this turned out, but we're gonna change it up for this, this go around. And I want to build these up like I stated before. So let me get some tweezers and bring in the liquid glue again. And I'm just gonna apply very little on this H. Oh, turn it around. Okay, and moving, uh oh, moving fast here to get these aligned. Okay, so now we have the H layer two times and I'm just going to repeat the process. All right, the last letter here and I zoomed in a bit so you can see a little better. All right, so they are all glue down and now let's work with our panel. I'm going to use some foam tape here. It's already pretty sturdy, but I wanna add some dimension. So let me think here. Just really aligning it at the base of the panel and then bringing in my new non-stick scissors that have just, my gosh, saved all my other scissors. It's just like butter now. It's ridiculous that I was being so stubborn about not upgrading my scissors. So I'm applying this foam tape to the ends and then I'll fill in the middle. So not sure, we'll just do one right in the middle. And I usually like to have my foam tape closer together because it can cause divots in the card, but this is so built up, I don't think that that is going to be an issue with this particular panel. Alrighty, 
So I'm going to magnetize my A2 size card base down and it looks kind of serrated right there. You know what? Let me take this to my paper trimmer and trim that off just to have a cleaner edge. Okay, so I cleaned that edge up. It looks so much better. And I'm gonna place it this way. Just seeing how that visually looks because I just trimmed it down a, a little bit. And now let's make this permanent. Okay, so I want the cooler shades down at the bottom, the blues. There is a black mark on my, there's a little mark on my card base. So I'm turning it around. So the front, well, this one's just all dirty. What the crud? Okay. If I can get this done stuck, oh goodness. Um, let me bring in a new card base. I'm going to have to use this for something else because it's just got a little bit of imperfections on both sides and that is not pretty. All right, so bringing in a new card base. Lining it up. Okay. Okay, much better. So let's try this again. Bring in the panel and, and I'm going to do my best to visually place this down before I really press it down. Okay, that is perfect. And this is what we're working with so far. Look at that dimension. It's so clean to working horizontally with the foam strips like that. I love, I love how that looks. You see how the spaces are on the side. I really prefer it to look like this at the top. Okay. So once again, let's make this fixed and bring in our letters. And I'm just going to place them down and then glue them down one at a time. Yeah, and there's a spot on my E and there's a spot on my L. There must have been something on my glass mat or my desk that is messing with my with my white cardstock. Okay, so and that's pretty centered. So I'm going to make this permanent as well. And I'm definitely going to use the tweezers for this and just apply a little bit of glue here. It comes out quite heavy because it's a new bottle, but really just trying to apply a minimal amount because I don't want too much seeping from the glue because it does dry clear, but you can still see the clear residue and I don't like that. So that is why just applying a little, little bit. Actually, I'm just going to take it off the tweezers. Alrighty. I think that looks so good. It's like fresh and clean so much visual interest with the colored strips and the color palette in my opinion. All right, now let's work on the friend and then we'll finish it off with some embellishments to really help kind of break this up and add some texture, some physical texture. So this is the friend and it's quite large. And because we're gonna be positioning it towards the bottom of the hello, I definitely want to use one of the top three colors. I think that the Sherbert is too close. So I think I'm going to go with the grapefruit 
just because of the nectar it doesn't provide too much contrast with the white and the front is going to be on top of the white. So I think this is a happy medium. So let me get some grapefruit. Okay, and I'm going to run this through twice as well with the grapefruit. And once again, need to layer these two pieces and it seems that it's got just a little part of the F that needed to pop out. So just a minimal amount of glue guys. Uh oh, that was way more than I wanted. And I'm just going to kind of dot around the letters. Okay. And Let's try to line this up. It's always easier for me to pick it up and align it like this. Just pressing those two layers together. Okay, perfect. And now for placement. I think just right right there. There's a little black mark on that L. So I'm going to try to cover that up with this sentiment here. Okay. And there you go. And what I want to do now, I place glue all over the letters, of course, but I don't want to press all the letters down because I don't want part of the letters to be like bent because it's on top of the hello. So if there's certain parts of the letters that are just kind of lifting up, it's natural and I'm going to allow that. But really pressing down where the letter is overlapping the hello or where the friend is overlapping the hello. Okay, and I need to remove a little excess here at the tail of the D. All right, so I have some dew drops pulled and I'm gonna use these because I think it's gonna look really good on top of the colors and also allow the cardstock to shine through the embellishments. And I'm just going to play with some sizes here. I really gravitate to the small and the mediums. All right, so I think this is the placement and I'm realizing that the medium is actually a little bit bigger. There is four sizes within this pack, not three but I like the variation. So I'm just going to pick up the dew drop and glue it down. So we have variation of text, of size with the dew drops and color with the cardstock and then also a little repetition with the cardstock as well because we used the grapefruit for the friend sentiment to just help tie it all together and then of course dimension and there you have it that is a fun fresh summer card that is super quick to make it probably took me about 22 minutes honestly i stopped for like a couple of minutes um, because my dog barked but doesn't take any time at all and yeah i hope this inspired you to play with some of your scrap card stock please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye everyone